This video tutorial will teach you how to make the hat of tortoise. First, make a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your left hand. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and your middle finger. And set a hook into loop on your middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There is one loop on the hook. Yarn around the hook and put the yarn the loop on the hook. The magic ring is done. Now let's start make round one. In round one, we need to work six sink shades. Is it a hook into loop on your middle finger? Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook and put the yarn both loops on the hook. A sink shade is done. Let's zoom in. The V-shape is a stitch. Place a marker on the both strands of the V. There's where we insert a hook to start the next round. The second single shade is that a hook into the loop on your middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook and put the yarn both loops on the hook. The second single shade is done. The third single shade is that a hook into the loop on your middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook and put the yarn both loops on the hook. The third sink shade is done. Continue to work the remaining three sink shades in the same way. The fourth sink shade. The five sink shade. The sixth sink shade. Let's zoom in. The V shape is a stitch. Let's count the stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sink shades are done. Now put the yarn tail to close the ring. Put the yarn tail hard until it can't be pulled. Join the rounds means you work one slip stitch and then one chain stitch. Now work slip stitch in a marked stitch to join the circle together. Remove the marker. Is it a hook into marked stitch? Hide the yard tail by putting it on top of the hook. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Hook the first loop and pull it through a second loop. Pull the yarn hard. A safe stage is done. Round one is finished. Now let's start making round two. First, work a chain. Yarn around the hook. Put the yarn through the loop on the hook. 
put it on hard. A chain is done. The slip stitch and the chain doesn't count as stitch. In round two, we need to work six increases. In increase means working two sunshades in the same stitch. The first increase. Instead of hooking the first stitch, work a single shade first. A single shade is done. Please a marker on the first stitch. And remember to do that on the first stitch of every round. Then insert a hook into the same stitch and work another single shade. An increase is done. The second increase. Insert a hook into the next stitch. Work a single shade first. A single shade is done. Then work another single shade in the same stitch. The second increase is done. The third increase is that a hook into the next stitch. Work a single shade first. A single shade is done. Then work another single shade in the same stitch. The third increase is done. Continue to work the remaining three increases in the same way. The fourth increase. The fives increase. The six increase. Six increases are done. Now work a slip stitch in a marked stitch to join the circle together. Remove the marker. Is it a hook into marked stitch? Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Hook the first loop and pull it through a second loop. Pull the yarn hard. A slip stitch is done. Round two is finished. Now let's start making round three. First, work a chain. Yarn around the hook and put the yarn the loop on the hook. In round three, we need to repeat a set of one single shade. One increase for six times. An increase means working two single shades in the same stitch. The first set is that a hook into first stitch. Work a single shade first. A single shade is done. Please a marker on the first stitch. Then work an increase. An increase is done. The first set is done. The second set. First, work a single shade. A single shade is done. Then work an increase. The second set is done. The third set. First, work a single shade. Then work an increase. The third set is done. Continue to work the remaining three sets in the same way.
the four set. The five set. The six set. Six sets are done. Now work slip stitch in a marked stitch to join the circle together. A slip stitch is done. Round three is finished. Now let's start making round four. First, work a chain. A chain is done. In round 4, we need to repeat a set of 2 single shades, 1 increase for 6 times. An increase means work in 2 single shades in the same stitch. Instead of hooking the first stitch, work the first single shade. The first single shade is done, place a marker on the first stitch. Instead of hooking the next stitch, work the second single shade. Two single shades are done, then work an increase. An increase means working two single shades in the same stitch. An increase is done. The first set is done. The second set. First, work two single shades. One. Two. Two single shades are done. Then work an increase. The second set is done. Continue to work the remaining four sets in the same way. We'll skip repeat parts. Six sets are done. Now work a slip stitch and mark the stitch join the circle together. A slip stitch is done. Round 4 is finished. Now let's start making round 5. First, work a chain. In round 5, we only crochet in the back loops. We need to work 24 single shades. Let's zoom in. This is a whole stitch. This is the back loop of this stitch. This is the second stitch. This is the back loop. The third stitch. This is the back loop of this stitch. The first is single shade. Is it a hook into back loop of the first stitch? Work the first single shade. The first single shade is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Instead of hook into back loop of the next stitch, work the second single shade. The second single shade is done. The third single shade.
The third thing she is done. The fourth thing she. The five thing she. The six thing she. Six sets are done. Continue to work the remaining eighteen crochet in the same way. We need to crochet in the back loops. We've skipped repetitive parts. Twenty-four crochets are done. Now work slip stitch and mark the stitch to join the circle together. A slip stitch is done. Round five is finished. Now let's start making round six. First, work a chain. In round six, we need to work twenty-four crochets. That is, to work one crochet in every stitch. Is it a hook in the first stitch? Work the first crochet. The first crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Is it a hook in the next stitch? Work the second crochet. The second crochet is done. The third crochet. The fourth crochet. The five crochet. The six crochet. Six crochets are done. Continue to work remaining eighteen crochets in the same way. We will skip the repetitive parts. Twenty-four crochets are done. Now work a slip stitch in a market stitch. A slip stitch is done. Round six is finished. Now let's start make round seven. First, work a chain. In round seven, only crochet in the front loops. We need to work twenty-four crochets. Let's zoom in. This is a whole stitch. This is the front loop of this stitch. This is the next stitch. This is its front loop. The third stitch. Its front loop. The first stitch. Is it holding the front loop of the first stitch? Work the first single crochet. A single crochet is done. Place a marker on its first stitch. Insert a hook in the front loop of the next stitch. Work the second single crochet. The third single crochet. The four single crochet. The five single crochet. The 
the sex and shit. Six sink shades are done. Continue to work the remaining eighteen sink shades in the same way. Remember, we only crochet in the front loops. We'll skip the repeated parts. Twenty-four sink shades are done. Now work a slip stitch and mark the stitch to join the circle together. A slip stitch is done. Round seven is finished. Now let's start making round eight. First, work a chain. In round eight and nine, we need to work twenty-four sink shades in every round. That is to work one sink shade in every stitch. Instead of hooking the first stitch, work the first sink shade. The first sink shade is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Instead of hooking the next stitch, work the second sink shade. The third sink shade. The fourth sink shade. The five sink shade. Continue to work the remaining sink shades in the same way. In round eight and nine, we need to work twenty-four sink shades in every round. We will skip the repeated parts. Round nine is finished. Leave long yarn tail to sew loop. Cut off the yarn. Put out the yarn tail. The hat is done. Now let's sew the hat to the main body. First, to find the right position. Find the slip stitches. Here. Four pins are located on either side of the crocheting slip stitch line. Count five rounds from here. One, two, three, four, five. Five rounds. The other side is the same. Here. Two pins are separated by four stitches. There are four stitches. One, two, three, four. The head will be here. We need to make sure that the slip stitches on the head face this side. And make sure the eyes are the right position. Like this. Pass the yarn through the needle. Remove the pin and pass the needle from the corresponding hole. Remove the pin and the needle comes out from this hole. Fix the position. Pass the needle through a stitch on the head. Continue to sew the hat to the main body. Then pass the needle through a stitch on the hat. Remember to pull the yarn hard when sewing.
Make sure the eyes are in the right position. Count three rounds from here. One, two, three. Pass the needle through here. Count three rounds on the head. Pass the needle through the head. Pull the yard hard. To lift up the head. Put the yard hard. Then fix it. Hide the yard tail. Cut off the yard. 
The head is sewed up. Now let's sew the feet. First, to find the right position. Six stitches from the head. Five rounds from here. Five rounds from here. Four stitches between these two pins. Five stitches between these two pins. We'll sew the feet here. The other side is the same. Pass the yarn through the needle. Remove the second pin and pass the needle from the corresponding hole. Remove the first pin and the needle comes out from this hole. Pass the needle through a stitch on the foot. Insert needle into the main body. Then pass the needle through a stitch on the foot. Put it on hard. Continue to sew the foot. Sew like until it's done. Remember to put your heart when sewing. Stuff the filling cotton into the fabric.
Heidi Artel. Cut of the yard. A foot is done. Continue sew the other foot on the other side in the same way. Two feet are done. Now let's sew the other two feet. First, to find the right position, eleven stitches from the first foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The other side is the same. The pins are in the same rounds as the first foot. Four stitches between these two pins. Five stitches between these two pins. The other side is the same. Continue sew these two feet in the same way. We'll skip the repeated parts. Now let's sew the tail to the main body. First, to find the right position. Count six stitches from the foot. This side also. The tail will be here. Count six stitches from here. And five stitches from here. Three stitches between two pins. Now sew the tail. Remove the pin and pass the needle from the corresponding hole. Remove the pin and needle comes out from this hole. Pass through the side of the tail. Each of the stitches needs to be sewed together with the main part. Pull the yarn hard. Stuffed filling cotton into the fabric.
Heidi Yartel. Cut off the yard. The tail is sewed up. Now let's sew the hat to the head. Let's determine the location round one, two, three. Between round three and four. Find the center. Pass the needle through six rounds. Then pass it through a stitch on the head. Organize the head. Then pass the needle through here. Then pass it through a stitch on the head. Continue to sew the hat. Hide a yard tail. Cut off the yarn. The hat is sewed up. Now let's sew the mouth in black yarn. First, find the right position. This is the round one, two, three, four. The mouse is between round 4 and 5, 4 stitches in the center.
leave a part of your tail outside. And the needle into this stitch again. Hide the yard tail. Cut off the yard. Hide this yard tail as well. The mouse is done. Now let's sew these two starfishes to the main body. You can sell them whatever you like. The blue one is around here. Insert needle into a stitch on the main body. Then pass the needle through here. Then pass the needle through the starfish. Then pass the needle through here. Then through the starfish. Continue to sew in the same way. Hide a yard tail. Cut off the yard. Continue to sew the other starfish in the same way. Here. And the needle into the main body. Then pass it through here. C. 
so lit like before. Cut off the yarn. The starfish is all sewed up. The tortoise is finished. The tortoise and the lanternfish are finished.